Welcome aboard the Google Cloud again. We're continuing the previous lab where we ate a couple of public data here. You can see a couple of things like New York taxi trips, whatever, subway, whatever. We're going to check these NOAA underscore G sold. Okay, let's click on it. And there are a couple of tables. Let's check 2014. So you can click on preview, you can see some data of it. Right? This, this is the data we're gonna work on. Okay, all right. So we can click on the editor for that. So in this case, would like to examine examine the, the these guys. So there is a way thing to query. You can do some query, whatever. Or there is the editor for this. I cannot go in here, but the thing is, we click on the preview for that. Uh, we can examine the columns for that. So there is there was an editor right here. The, the interface has changed a little bit, but. From the editor, you could see the table structure as a uh, JSON stuff. Because I can click to remove, I don't need to see that. Here, let's see, there's no, no connected sheets. All right, I would like to see, it's not export, not even a snapshot. Because in the query, you, you cannot see any many stuff from that. But should be a way for the editor to show uh, the structure. But I'm gonna I'm gonna run a query right now. So there's a big query prepared. So let's do a query in a new tab. Okay, it directly goes to that. Just as an incomplete, like you could do something like this. You could run a query. This is a the query it provides to you by default, but my query is this guy here. Let's spread it a little bit. So I select the STN, other stuff like timestamp, okay, concatenating, temperature, when speed, precipitation, okay, there is the workflow, do buy and order buy. Let's click on run. Okay, here we go. So we have the STN timestamp temperature when when the spit precipitation. All right, so simple ways to, to run queries and uh, just to surfing around for that. Now, what we would like to see, I would like to see some data from New York. Well, let's click. Let's click on New York. New York. And this guy here. Three, 311 service request. Preview. Okay, unique key created agency or a couple of columns. Okay, the location, wherever. For a minute, to check what is 311. We go. This is this is the query preparing for New York. The service requests. Okay, so here we go. We have a the year, the complaint type. Where was the complaining and number of complaint? So it's a lot. But they have the worst metro in the world. So what we're gonna do now? Let's create a data set. Here's these data sets. Here is the, the lab. Let's create a data set. Let's call it demos. Can leave it to a region. Let's leave it multiple regional problem. Let's create this data set. 
entire region, the US. So there's demos right here. And I'm gonna run a query right here, which is this other query. Which I'm selecting from this guy here, where we checked it before. So this is the result, just a query, okay. And there is a more. So what we can do here, query settings. Okay, so here I want to set a destination for query results. The data set is then you can shoot them demos. Table ID, we can call it New York Weather. Okay. So destination table right preference. Can think about that result size. Okay, hello. Let's click on this. Write it for empty. Okay, we're gonna leave all the rest to interactive. Use cache as result. We can even leave the others. Let's click on save and see what happens. Okay, I think you can give a little refresh for this guy. Can even in the, the other case here, like we can even more query settings. We can save into a temporary table, so that's pretty cool. So there's a super cool stuff. But here, let's give a a refresh. So there are a couple of data. Let's see, I think it didn't work. Let's re refresh this just to check one thing. So we have our public data, which BigQuery allows you to do. Ah, okay. You can see that it was not showing before. So right here, we didn't, we could not save here on this data set, but the, the query was providing that information, but let's, let's go there again, query settings. I'll call it demos. New York City underscore weather. Save. So now once you run the query, you can see that's the difference. What was missing. So here you can check New York weather. Preview. So there's the result of the queries over here. So this is one thing I'd like to show. So see you in the next lab.